are at AST New Orleans facility. This is where we do all of the production, assembly, so bubble beads, poly geysers, uh, propeller beads, everything is done here. We assemble everything okay. here. We're pretty much just going to be seeing everything. You'll see everything that we do out there. Okay. All right. I'm ready. All right. Watch Woo! you. Watch you. All right. So this is the shop. Poly guys are filtered here. Yeah, okay. this is the three cubic foot. Are these pre-ordered already, or yeah. are these? This is this is stock. This is oh, stock. stocked up there. So we 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 just built those three, stock those uh -huh. on top. Okay. Those will sell by probably next week or so. Okay. Is uh, this is a fit filter in tank system? I like this one. This, this is, one is I want. yeah. This <laughs> is and this filter in tank. It will have. Um, multiple fish tanks attached to it so your filter is here okay your sludge digestion and isolation is over here the bubble will shoot through the beads and again the beads drop okay okay so when the beads drop all the waste slides uh, down that okay. angle right okay. there okay and then it gets swept okay. and then okay. we look over here okay. you can actually see the solid waste that's going to be shooting out through these ports here. And it will shoot out, and then that's your sludge drain. Okay. So instead of you actually touching anything, yeah. turning valves, yeah. backwashes automatically, drains sludge okay. automatically. Okay. That sludge then settles down to the bottom. And then you can open this and drain your sludge when you need to. You can but open it, it okay, and drain it from there. Correct, correct. So let's check the, the beads. beads out. are a really cool thing to check out. Let's check out the beads. Yeah. All right. So if you look closely, here, let me give you some of these. All right. These are EN media. We've got our standard media okay. and our enhanced nitrification media. Okay. Same solids capturing ability. Okay. So you'll capture solids at the 50 micron down to the 30 micron level in a single pass. Okay, okay. And then each subsequent passes, you'll get more and more solids captured. Okay. So your water can be crystal clear down to five microns. Wow. Yeah. All the same material. Same material. Yeah, <laughs> same material. And these beads never have to be replaced. They last for, well, uh, uh, hang on, they last 2,500 years. Okay. So. I mean, nobody's going to outlive that. So. <laughs> and then the ones in your right hand, I'm from Vegas. Nice I'm from up. Vegas, so I gotta shake them up a little. Yo, we are rolling Wait, dice. Good, good. I will shake them up. All right. All right. This is a 50 cubic foot. Right. Yeah. This <laughs> thing is huge. Propeller bead filter. Okay. The propeller bead filters are the original filter that AST built. First one that was uh, that was invented. Right? It's the first one, huh? First, first yeah, style. this is the first style. Okay. So the propeller bead filter. So these are used for large industrial applications. Um, very popular in zoos and aquariums. Okay. Um, this one, I believe, is going to Australia uh, oh, wow. for a large aquaculture farm. Um, so you guys ship these things overseas? Oh, absolutely. Okay. We ship, we ship all over the world. Okay. All over the world. All over the world. Okay, yeah, amazing. Absolutely. We do have a tack fish inside of the green. Okay. <laughs> Just joke. <joking>. Okay. <laughs> Let's look at a couple of things that we're doing right now. One of the coolest things that we're doing is this pneumatic sludge discharge. All right, so a pneumatic sludge discharge basically means that the same air bubble that's driving the backwash is also going to be forcing solid up and out of this pipe, okay? okay. So, if we look here, we've got solid waste that is near the top and is going to be draining into this sludge basin. This is a sludge digestion slash clarification step all in this tank. Well, now, yeah. if we look here, the camera. Yeah, this is fairly, fairly clear. 
fairly clear. Yeah. yeah. Now we're real, real close to having something. This is the third or fourth design that we have been working on. Now, the coolest process, I feel like, with the whole thing, and we haven't even looked at the fish tank yet, right. how clear it is. Now, I'm gonna increase how much air is going inside of the filter so that we can watch the back off, Okay. All right? Now, what's gonna happen, if you look here, here's our pneumatic sludge discharge. So we are actually, we're injecting air into the filter. Mm -hmm. That air bubble is forcing solids that are trapped inside of this chamber okay. up and out. Okay. So what you can see, if I increase this even more, mm -hmm. that these solids are rising. Rising up, okay. They're rising up and they're going to be discharged into this column here. Okay. Now, we are then aerating, heavily aerating, this area right here. I see Get our camera in there? Yep, I see it. This is thick, thick sludge. And that thick sludge, can you smell it? Can you smell anything? I don't smell anything. If you don't smell anything, that means that that's aerobically discharging. All right, look at this. So look at that plug that's coming yeah, out okay, right now. Okay. Look at it. So this is all of the waste that was just shaken off of the beads Jeez, okay. from the previous back one. Okay. Okay. So, look at the waste, man. This is just coming on. I, this is why I like to see this. Right. Get this out of the system, man. Right. Right. Get it out. So we don't want that in the tank. Right. We don't want it in the filter. Right. We want it out. Okay. Now. What you're gonna see is those solids fall into here. Now what's happening right now, if you look here, Brooklyn? Okay. Clear, clear water, water clear water is coming out from right here, right? Mm -hmm. So what we're doing with this design mm -hmm. is we are discharging sludge mm -hmm. and then we are mineralizing, mineralizing. Okay. right here okay. under heavy aeration. Okay. And then clear water is then okay. discharging into this five-gallon bucket. And this now can... that that five-gallon bucket was empty yesterday. Okay. So we get five gallons set on 0.2 standard cubic feet per hour. We okay. get five gallons in about a 24-hour um, process. Okay. Right. Okay. Now this is highly dense, nutrient-rich water okay. that's free of solids. This is magic. Dude. <laughs> this is magic, dude.